Good morning, Ankeny High School. It's Wednesday, February 24th. My name is Crystal and I'm a senior. Ms. Calgar, I just want you to know that Danielle has been forging passes to get out of your advisement. I'm Jacob Quigley. I'm a senior. I can do a front flip. I learned it from watching Park 4. My name is Jenna Sackett and I'm with Zach Hoglazer. How did you get started with Park 4? Uh, I actually got started in Park 4 about a year and a half, maybe a little more ago. And I got started because I saw it on YouTube and thought it was yeah. cool. Um, so from there, I just started watching some tutorials about what parkour was and how to do basic things, and I went to the park and just started teaching myself the basics. How has parkour affected your life? Um, parkour has affected my life um, in many ways. It's affected me physically because I've really um, gotten out and I've had something to do with my time. It's really helped me to um, treat my body well and to get you know, active, um, but also it's really helped me mentally. The whole philosophy of parkour is based around overcoming obstacles in creative ways and effective ways. And I've really um, learned to kind of use that same philosophy and outlook on life, whether it's just obstacles I face on a daily basis, um, just knowing that if I put my time and effort into it, I can overcome those things even though it may seem difficult. Okay, these are some of the basic movements of parkour that I first started learning just based off of tutorials on YouTube. You're making me nervous. I make business owners nervous. Apparently I'm a liability. Hello, I'm Brandon Paul. Next up we have some interviews followed by a PSA by Jacob Reiner. Um, I started playing baseball when I was four years old. I played at Raccoon Valley. Uh, Little League for the Cubs. Then we moved to Ankeny. I joined the Ankeny Diamonds from ages seven till seven and eight. And then we changed our name to the Ankeny Hawks. And I played for them until I was twelve. Then I joined the Sudden Impact for the age thirteen. And then I continued on with high school baseball for Ankeny. I developed a love for baseball at a young age. Um, probably when I was about one, when I could sit up, my dad would put a glove on my hand and he'd toss me a ball and I'd roll it back. My well, favorite baseball player would be Bryce Harper, who plays for the Washington Nationals. He's my favorite, favorite player because he plays hard and it's fun to watch. <laughs> my favorite team would be the St. Louis Cardinals, probably because it was handed down from my dad or because they're geographically close. This season I expect to play a major role on the team and start Last year as a junior, I started as shortstop and second base. Next year as a senior, I look to contribute in any way possible, maybe as an outfielder to help the team. For this upcoming season of 2016, um, I hope we can win 20 games or at least stay above 500 and win a couple games in sub-state. Um, I hope to continue my baseball career into college anywhere that I'll let me play, I guess. I'm Scott Becker, I teach automotive at Centennial High School. I teach both Ankeny High and Centennial. I teach automotive engine rebuild, automotive brake. Right now in fundamentals, we have four big services that I teach. Uh, students by the end, they should be able to take a tire off and put it on safely. I want them to be able to understand the automotive engine system while being able to change oil. On a daily basis, you can see a lot of different things. Uh, you can even see a lot of students doing different things. One day, uh, I might have half the students working on a vehicle, and the other half working in classroom. The BMW's sole purpose is for us to learn on. 
I really enjoy having it here because I can always depend on it being here and I don't have to tear into something on my vehicle or the student's vehicle and not be able to drive. So it's nice to always have wheels in here. Right now we're using it for our own electric unit and as you can see the fuse box is right here and we can use it uh, to change tires, we, we can jack it up and uh, we'll use it to change oil. So it's something that always here for students that's available. Eventually down the road I would love to get to the point where we're working on it and we're going to need to look a little bit better and get back on the road. But right now it's really great for my fundamentals course so students always have a vehicle to work on. I love basically any vehicle. A lot of people would say I'm confused because I have a Jeep Comanche and a BMW. So I, I love about like any vehicle that's on the road. The uh, thing I do dislike about vehicles um, workspaces are becoming tighter and tighter, especially within uh, the engine bay. But we just got to deal with the changing technology and do our best. Um, you, get, you just got to adapt to the changing field. And I like how vehicles generally are becoming more powerful and more efficient with less displacement. I think that's kind of interesting, and I hope we move more towards that so we can even have more power, speed, and efficiency. Always wanted to work on vehicles outside school. I'm like, let's put a let's put a name to this thing. And Let's do it once a week for three hours. Our little club is Tuesday nights from four to seven. Uh, if we go a little past again, and it's just an opportunity for students to work on their vehicles, to get projects done on their vehicles. I always tell students, uh, if you don't bring anything to the club, there's always something I can bring. But I really like working on student vehicles as much as possible. Who are you, and where's your ID? My bad. Thanks, Sarah Rose, and thank you, students of Ankeny High School, for always wearing your IDs. I'm James, I'm a senior, and this is Rhett. Oh, Riley's over there. <laughs> and do you know what? If you're looking for something to eat, make sure you go over to the Perky Hawk. So you may have heard about the Perky Hawk here at Anthony High School, but what is it really about? Here today we take a look at everything the Perky Hawk is and what it's about. Let's take a look. I'm Devin Davis, and who are you? I'm Ms. Kratz. I'm one of the runners of Perky And how long has Perky Rock been up and running? Uh, over 10 years. We started uh, in the old, old high school and moved into this building and split to here and work at Central so it's been around since the North few days. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, what is the money when you know the money you collect throughout the day? What does that go towards? Uh, some of it goes towards day-to-day -to -day operation expenses. Uh, a lot of it goes back to the school. So twice a year, we have grants and teachers can write in um, to purchase like school classes. So like audiovisual, so some cameras and other equipment that they needed. Uh, it just depends on what teachers say. <laughs> We have donated over $100,000 since we the So it helps everybody out in return. Yeah. Okay. And what kind of people work with Perky Hawk? We've got a whole range of people. Some just like to be in the coffee shop and work with people. Mm -hmm. um, others are looking for silver for dollars. Others want some experience. Um, students do get paid to work in the Perky Hawk. You get store credit. So some people okay. just like to be able to have a free coffee. It seems like a good deal. And what are your busiest times throughout the day? I would say in between class periods and before school. It seems like everyone's trying to have made up. Okay. All right. All right. And what is the makes the Perky Hawk unique? I think the large amount of money that we give back to the school is one of the big things. Um, but it does give um, all kinds of students experience that they can apply to when they graduate high school. So it just kind of recycles around for the greater good. How does one get a job at the one and only Perky Hawk? There are applications sitting outside the Perky Hawk. So you fill one up, you can either put it underneath the Perky Hawk door when you're done, or drop it off in my room, uh, 1107. And then I take a look through them and I check grades, make sure that you are passing every class. Uh, and if you are and your references are very good, then uh, we'll connect on when would be a good time. Usually, it's studying a lot over the campus is the best time. So today we checked out the Perky Hawk and found out that it's open before school, after school, periods two through four. So come on down, buy a drink or two, it's 
supports the school and goes to school proceeds. And it just helps everyone out in general. Like that? No? So come on down and get something with Perky Hawk. Thanks. My name is Michael Kelly. I'm a senior. We have highlights from state wrestling, and I hope to see you guys on Friday night here at the Hawks Nest for the basketball game. So far, we're 17 and 4. We played Des Moines North on Friday. We lost to them the first time, but we're feeling pretty confident going in this time. We played this Friday at home against North Des Moines at 7 o'clock, and when we win, we play Monday. We had a few problems going into the North Des Moines game with our turnovers and lack of rebound. But right now we're feeling pretty confident. The past few days we've had a lot of good practices, and we're ready to play. Make sure you come out this Friday at 7 o'clock to support your Anthony Hawks. Go Hawks! Go Hawks. I'm Mr. Calgar, and I am a senior citizen, almost. This is Real Anthony Productions, and that is a wrap.